A fantastic first half for him as Anderson has a 237 ERA and 12 starts. He has been exceptionally good and he leads the ball club onto the field tonight. And no one gets out to that mound quicker than Tyler Anderson. Even between innings, starts in the game, that's how much he wants to go out there and compete. He works so hard in between starts. The focus is bullpen session. This is work ethic outstanding. Double leg kick, and there is hit number 100, Jose Altuve, with his 100th hit here at Angel Stadium. So Little A has his 100th here. Big hit. That's in there, strike three call. That's very similar to spot yesterday. Jordan smashes one towards the corner. That'll be a fair ball, bounce into the crowd. That'll be an automatic double. Altuve doesn't realize it till just now. He might have scored had that ball been in play. Instead, Jordan with a double to put runners on second and third. So the table is set for Jeremy Pena batting in the fourth spot today. Two and two. As Pena does hit a ground ball, Neto scoops it up, fires home. Altuve is out. I love the fact he was. He knew he had time. He was able to set himself and make a good throw to Feist to be able to get that play at the plate. Not much opportunity for Altuve there. He was going on contact, and he's thrown out for the second out. Diaz with a soft bouncer there. Zach Neto gloves. That kicks it to first, and that ends the inning. Tyler Anderson works around some serious trouble. So Hunter Brown, his numbers are not good at all. A 1-5 record, an ERA of 6.18. He gets ready to work. Gets him at the bottom of the zone. Shonowell thought he had drawn a walk the last pitch. That one was a better delivery to look like. This one right back to Hunter Brown. And he will toss it to first for the second out. Here's ball four. So Taylor Ward works a walk, and the Angels have their first base runner. And there's a liner down the left field side, a base hit for Calhoun. The ball closed quickly. His Ward has to go back to second. Bregman trying to think about throwing behind him just hangs on to it. Taylor Ward did a screech and went back the other way after he saw how quickly Mauricio Dubon got that ball. Oh. Now Neto gets hit with an 0-2 fastball. That loads the bases in a painful way for Neto. The Angels have him loaded. Matt Theis is the batter. Swing and a miss. Got a fastball by him upstairs. Theis strikes out and the Angels leave the bases loaded. Here's the 2-0. That one's ripped to right field. Hit well. Adele going back onto the warning track. He reaches up, and it's off the wall. McCormick racing for second. He's going to take off for third, and he's going to make it standing up. A leadoff triple for Chaz McCormick, his first of the year. So here's Altuve, a runner at third to start the inning off. There's a base hit. Astros lead it one to nothing. Jose Altuve is two for two, an RBI single here in the third. And he picks up the RBI, his 22nd of the season. And that is low, ball four. So Bregman draws a very important walk right now because that means that the Angels are going to have to pitch to Jordan again. That's behind Jordan and hits it. Jordan gets hit by a pitch that almost went behind him, and now the bases will be loaded with nobody out. Yeah, that's less than ideal. Pena swings and misses, strike three. Swing and a miss, strike three. So it's up to Jake Myers now. You don't want to waste these bases loaded. There's a line drive into left field. Myers comes through with a huge two-out hit. One run scores. Here comes Bregman. He'll be out at home plate. Astros get a run on the RBI single by Jake Myers, but Bregman thrown out by Taylor Ward to end the inning. It's a 2-0 Astros lead. The ball's two strikes on Jose Abreu. He lifts a fly ball to shallow left field. Taylor Ward is under it and makes the catch. Two up, two down. Cormac gets it hard. Center field. Moniak makes the catch into a slide. And that ends the inning. One, two, three for Tyler Anderson in the fourth. The delivery. And he got him. Strike three. Third strikeout in a row. That's six in the game, and there's one out. Ground ball over the head of Brown, but he sees Altuve right there, and Jose makes the play. Moniak gets a ground ball through, and there's a base hit much needed for Mickey Moniak with two outs here in the fourth. Good to see him hit the ball on the ground. Ground ball. Bregman nicely to his left has it, and that will do it for the Angels in the fourth. One hit, one left on. Hunter Brown working through four with zeros on the board and a 2 nothing lead. A lot of day baseball today, including across the pond in England with the Mets taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. There's a line drive off the glove of Renhipo, recovers, throws, and not in time. Alex Bregman's going to reach. Renhipo couldn't find it initially after that ball went off his glove, and Alex is going to be on with one out. So Bregman's aboard with one out for Jordan Alvarez, who has doubled and been hit by a pitch. Jordan crutches one. High and deep to right, all the way back and gone. 44 puts one into the crowd in right field, a 
above the out of town scoreboard and the Astros double up their lead it's four to nothing. Air your Don making this his happiest place on earth tonight. Chattanooga lookouts with no match for Caden Dana. First pitch swinging Myers pops it up Anderson makes the catch so you love that. Yes real athletes making the play. <laughs> the four runs that Tyler Anderson has allowed tonight ties the most he's allowed in any start this season. Here's one grounded sharply to Renhifo and he's been making the plays over there at third base tonight another good strong throw. Check swing right back to Anderson fielding his position a plenty here in a perfect sixth ground ball and a pop up in the same inning. That's what we talked about last innings. Those first couple of innings can be a little bit rough for Hunter Brown trying to find that command, but once he does, he attacks. He got him. Hunter Brown walks off the mound with a two hit shutout through six innings. That last pitch at 98 and a half. So now it'll be someone out of the Houston bullpen, and that someone is Rafael Montero. His yes, fastball, firm fastball himself, 95 98, slider changeup. It's sharply, but Altuve is there. Oniak retired for the first out of the seventh. Astros up 4 0. Here's Sean Noel, their leadoff man, 0 for 2 in a walk. There's some sound from Sean Noel out toward right center field. That ball is gone. Nolan Sean Noel is home for the second time on this homestand, and he gets the Angels on the board here in the seventh. And there's ball four. So when Efro with a good at bat draws a walk, there's ball four. So the tying run will come to the plate. Pops it up behind home plate. Diaz has room and he can't make the play. And Calhoun trying to lay off. He did. Ball four and three straight walks have loaded the bases. The tying runs are on and Zach Neto will represent the go ahead run. Ground ball right side. Jose Abreu will flip it to Brian Abreu. The Abreus complete the transaction on the three to one put out. And they'll strand the bases loaded. Things got a little scary there in the seventh, but it's still 4 1 Astros. Joey's third pitcher used by the Angels, one of the hardest throwers, if not the hardest thrower in the game. 1 0. And Alvarez lines it down the left field line and just fair, and that'll bound into the corner. Alvarez is on his way to second base with his third hit, all for extra bases tonight. Ground ball towards the hole. That's through for a base hit. Jordan will be held at third. Jeremy Pena with his first hit of the night. And the Astros put runners on first and third with nobody out in the eighth. And now Chandler Diaz, who's 0 for 3 tonight, came into this game with homers in four straight. Line drive, base hit right field. In comes Jordan Alvarez. Yiner Diaz hits a 103 mile an hour fastball into right field to give the Astros a four run lead again. Dubon is the batter. He hits a line drive. That'll be down for a hit. Jeremy Pena with great speed will score easily. Makes it a six to one game. Taylor Scott is now in this ball game. South African wears number 50 on his back and he's been putting up great numbers for the Houston Astros. Ground ball should be the game. Alex Bregman has it and that'll do it. Astros win six to one back to back wins for the Astros here in Anaheim seven to one last night six to one today another great in their victory on this Saturday.